Okay guys, this is part two of the denim journal. And so as you can see, I stitched that stretchy lace to the denim and I'm pretty happy with how that came up. It didn't gather up like I was concerned about. So now the next thing I wanna do is get my doily in the center and I'm going to get this sewn on and then I'll come back with each of these pieces and start uh, placing those where I want them to be. This one I've already stitched so you can see. Um, and I just think that's going to be really sweet. And that's how I think that's going to end. And then I'll add a um, pocket. In fact, I'll have to get that pocket made as well. And get that all sewn so that then we're going to go back through and add to this. So I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and sandwich. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see what I've got here. I'm going to go ahead and sandwich some sorry for my closure. Hmm, I'm not mad on that because that's everything's quite white. Hmm, I have to think that through. Okay, what I think I'm going to have to do is tweak this sorry a bit. <clears throat> Hang on there, fellas. Okay, so what I mean by that is because this is all white, and that's a cream, it's a natural sorry, I think I'm going to have to try to make a different closure unless, tell you what I could do, I've got some seam binding, which isn't that exciting, but I think it's going to match better. So let me grab it here, guys. Yeah, I've got that. I could sandwich that in. But I, I want to do something more than just that. So that's going to be a whole nother project because that's just a bit too... It, I needs, it needs to be more substantial, I think. So what I might do is maybe some muslin. Oh, I don't know. See, this is where it all turns into just these big jobs, doesn't it? Because that's pretty. Huh. But there again, that's that stretchy stuff. So I've got to do some thinking on this closure before I get too far. All right, let me go, because you guys don't need to sit here and watch me think. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to come up with a closure because I feel like that needs to get stitched in before I get too far along on this. So let me come up with something for the closure and then I will be back to share with you what I've decided, but you see, and that, that's pretty. I think that would be pretty with some muslin, and then that could just be scrunched up and uh, tied. So, okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, um, just want to show you, you know, each step as I'm going along. I've had to give up on the closure. Um, did I go with that? Yeah. Okay, so I took that lace and I tried stitching it some material. It's ended up too thick, so I'm going to scrap that idea for now. So <clears throat> I've got this tack down. This is the back panel, and I just took a little piece of the denim, added some of that um, lace over it, stitched a button on there, and that is going to be ready now to sew down to the machine and then this piece has all been layered and now 
I will stitch each piece so that it's all got the stitching around it showing through. So I just wanted to show you that very quickly and the next part you will see this is done and then we'll move on to adding it to the remainder of the cover and then that will complete part two. Like I said, I'm just going to have to leave um, the closure at this point and I'll just have to come up with an idea down the road. So, okay. Okay guys, this is where I am at this point and as I said, I <clears throat> each layer just stitch around it and then build upon that. So I did zigzag on the large pieces just because I wanted a little bit of extra texture and then the rest of these I just did a straight stitch and I love how this is looking. So we've created a little pocket here, a little denim pocket and that will that will unravel a little bit there, and then we'll ha I'll have a pretty little tag or something back here. But um, let me just see if I've got um, just one second here, guys. This is a it's a little bit big, but it's just to show you how this is going to start looking once I get the signature inside there that will fill that out so you'll see it's going to have a pretty spine here um, and I'll have that uh, five hole pamphlet stitch to hold the signature in is what we'll do on that um, so that just kind of gives you an idea what that's going to start looking like now the other thing I want to do because I'm actually very happy with that cover now but I don't want to take away from this is the focal point so I've just picked out a couple of little buttons and I thought these were pretty because they're pulling out the green and then that's almost a yellow not quite but it still will pull those out so I'm just going to randomly stitch those um, down here I don't really want any more lace I don't know maybe I will put just a little piece under it let me see what I've got, guys, if I've got just a little strip that I could stitch those two first. See, I've talked myself right out of, uh, let me see if I'm going to like that. Just a little bit of lace there with that. I've got this little, I could do those as well, but I feel like that's, mm, I don't know, maybe, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah, actually, I really do like that, because I don't want anything too much to take away from that, so, but actually, I, okay, I'm going to go with that, I think I'm happy with that. So, what I'm going to do is just start with this little yellow one, and I'm going to run that through because just remembering <clears throat> all of this on the inside is going to get covered up anyway, so probably need it. So I'm not too worried about. <clears throat> what the stitching is going to look like because it'll all get covered when I start layering this. Yeah, I don't mind the Fabri-Tac on some things, but uh, for my covers, I really try to stitch everything down because it just feels a bit more secure that way. And I don't know why. I always tend to go for three. A lot of people use uh, five, but I just tend to go with three buttons, and that seems to be fine. Because I've got the little button on the back, so I think it it's kind of matches nice. I hope you agree. <laughs> If you don't, it's just going to be a little bit too late. <laughs> By the time I know, if you if you think this is too much, it's going to be too late. But 
that will um, hold that little applique flower in place as well. And I don't want these to be too perfect, so I'm just going to maybe have that one just off of the flower slightly, slightly on the edge there. So yeah, we will finish up this cover in part two, and I, I think this is probably starting to give you some insight into my um, process and how I get to where I get to with uh, my covers. I'll be completely honest with you, co the, the making of the cover is my absolute favorite part about journal making. Um, and then of course I, I do enjoy sewing in the signature. And the part I like the least is the coffee and tea dyeing of the papers. Oh boy, I find that so monotonous, guys. But some it's got to be done, but I just, oh, I put it off until I'm down to like two papers in my stash when I, I just have no choice but to do it, which is awful. I really should be more organized and not let it get that far down, but I, I just push it, push it and push it and push it until I um, can't make any more journals and it's like, okay, I gotta go ahead and do it. <laughs> um, but if you are at one of my higher level um, patrons, you will see my little secret to batch uh, dyeing. I've, I've shared a video on how to do that with my patrons, some of my higher level patrons. Okay, so I've got this all together now. Remember I said I was going to sandwich a piece of this in, so I'm going to do that as well, because now I'm going to end up with one more stitch to hold all of this together, so I've got to start getting everything as I want it to be now. And what I'll probably do, um, in fact I will do, is the first thing I'm going to do is stitch all of these together. I haven't trimmed that off yet. Let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is sew my cardstock to the batting, which is pinned to the fabric. And I'm going to get all of those ready. And then this will be ready to then come back and in one go I'll be able to stitch all this together. The only thing I think I am going to do slightly different no, I will leave that. Or will I? Sorry guys, this is <coughs> Okay, what I am going to do first, and this has been bugging me, I want to get the lace stitched first, and then, because I want to <clears throat> make sure that I've got that positioned where I want it to be, because you see, I've got to make sure that isn't getting too long, so what I'm going to do is just tack that or hold it in place there with a pin, a couple of pins, and then I'm going to run a straight stitch and get that down and then I'll start dealing with this next layer. So I will show you every step as I go, so I'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the lace has now been stitched there and that's what the insides looking like at this point so now we want to get this sandwich which is three layers we've got the fabric a little bit of batting and cardstock now you don't have to do this as I said you could just use the batting because this is pretty thick but I think I want it just it's the way I've always done it guys um, 
for that extra little bit of stability. So I'm going to take this and stitch this and then I will then stitch because it's too many layers it could slip if you try to do this all in one go. Now if you're skilled enough to do that go for it. <laughs> Anything that cuts your workload down do it. <laughs> but I am going to just um, I'm just going to do, let me go ahead and get this pen dry, I've done that wrong. I'm going to go ahead and stitch this and then I'll do that. So I won't be back at this point. Next time you see this, this cover will be complete, guys. Which, um, it just takes time. Be patient and honestly, it's worth it if you just do things in little steps um, because it will prevent you from having a lot of frustration so okay be back okay guys this is how it's coming along I've got it all stitched together now as you can see and then I'm just using this just to see how it's all gonna look and I'm happy with that so you know there we go the next thing we'll start doing is um, I'll get the pages selected for the journal and then we'll start deciding, you know, what what to do inside. I still haven't figured out on the closure. That will come to me, I'm sure, at some point. But as you can see, that's that's how I would uh construct this sort of a uh cover. So I hope that that has been helpful to you if you want to stick with me. The rest of it is, you know, it's just putting together the signature and adding some different um, embellishments and things to it. So I'll break those up into different um, parts. But this is the um, how I construct my fabric cover journals. And um, like I said, I hope that that's been some help to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see any of the projects that you guys do in your, um, you know, from my videos. I, I always enjoy seeing what other people have done. So anyways, guys, take care, and uh, I'll be back soon. Bye. Bye.